Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV. I greet you all according to your time. If it is your first time here, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate you for your massive support. Thank you for always coming back to watch our videos and that's a huge support to this channel. My dear viewers, this is a news channel and we drop news on daily basis and we also react to any videos that comes our way. Let's watch this video together. Drop your opinion at the comment section, like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Don't dare report such news accusing Eastern Security Network without evidence, without anybody investigating it. You carry the news. They tell you, go pay, they paid you money. They say, go and report is ESL. Let us manage the, the, the crisis. Just go and report it. Just anything, just say ESN so that we manage it. What I am telling you this afternoon is that if you do not pull that fake news yesterday down, Channel Television, Guardian newspaper, Vanguard News, all of you that reported it ESN yesterday, if you do not correct it, there is consequences. A very big consequences. And I want you to mark this program down today. This video I'm making now. Go and save it somewhere. There will be consequences. There will be heavy consequences. You can't do that and go free. We demand apology. It is not too much. It is not too much to ask, considering what you have done. It is not too much. The only thing we are demanding from you is apology. We want you to apologize to the Eastern Security Network, apologize to IPOB, apologize to Biafra people. Only then you will have peace. Only then there will be peace. Without this apology, there will be serious consequences. We are in state of war. We are in state of war, and most of you, the news media in Nigeria, you are you are owned. The news media are owned by people from the southern Nigeria. We are in war. Southern Nigeria versus northern Nigeria is a war. If you do not understand that it is time you begin to use your media house to project the interest of southern Nigeria. If you don't know that it is, the time has come, then your journalism is a disgrace. Your journalism is a waste. If you have not come to realize that the time has come to use your media to project the interests of Southern Nigeria. I'm not even talking about Biafra to you. The interests of Southern Nigeria. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because the target is the Southern Nigeria first. As a people, as a region, as a name, before they will descend on the nations that made up Southern Nigeria. And because we have seen the governors of the Southern Nigeria coming together, at least whether it is fake or, or, or not fake, whether it is real or not real, we've seen them coming together publicly making communic, issuing statement, for the collective interest of people in the southern Nigeria. And what are these collective interests? The interest that there will be no grazing, open grazing in the south. That is the interest. Protected interest of the southern Nigeria. There will be no grazing route in the south. These are the protected interests of the southern Nigeria. So if you are a, you know, you, you are working in media house in Nigeria, in channel television, in Vanguard, in uh, the nation, in uh, Nigerian news, anywhere you are, and you are, a, from, you are from the southern Nigeria, and the southern Nigeria is the owner of your media house. It is time you begin to project the interest of the southern Nigeria. Let it be what you do. 
If you don't withdraw this broke this your your article yesterday of ESN killing two soldiers, there will be consequences, and we give you twenty four hours. Now we are calling on Guardian newspaper. You saw I just showed you what they wrote yesterday. I show you what they wrote this morning today. You can see the differences. You can see the differences. Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. This is it. What you are looking at now is the report coming from coming from Nigeria, the Guardian Nigeria. The Guardian Nigeria reported ESN yesterday. We schooled them during our broadcast. We schooled them yesterday. We asked them questions which they know. The questions we asked them yesterday in the broadcast is very, very vital question. They were vital question, objective question. We, we trust and discuss this issue objectively yesterday, only for them to come this morning to say that we are reportedly shot dead before being beheaded by unidentified government. So yesterday, they were identified. And today, they are now unidentified government. Yesterday, when this incident happened, Guardian newspaper, you identify them to be to be ESN. You reported that ESN, IPOB ESN killed two and beheaded two police of uh, two police uh, two uh, military men. Yesterday, without investigation, today maybe you have you, you know you have done your underground work. You have come to understand that it was not uh, carried out by ESN. And what you do is to report, are they deleting it? Because I can see that something is moving. Are they deleting it? Okay, they have not deleted it. Because this thing is moving and the uh, I think I uh, was thinking that uh, they have deleted, you know, on a half year of ever, they know how to, to do uh, uh, algorithm. So we are looking at them and we want them, we want the Nigerian news media to delete that yesterday and apologize to Biafra people. They say they are being beheaded by unidentified government. Today, they have come to say unidentified God men. So, if today it is unidentified God men, how did you know that yesterday it was ESN and you reported it and it is now viral on social media? It is now viral on social media. Let me show you so that you understand what I'm saying. This was reported here. Look at it. 15, 15, uh, uh, 15 July, 3 a.m. At exact time when I was doing that program. Did you see it? Let me show you. The exact time when I was doing the, when we were in this program here last night. Exact time. Look at it. 3.27 a.m. They reported it and they changed it immediately to a non-government. So our question now is where did they get the to report yesterday? I have already screenshot it. It is on my it is on our page. You go there and see the screenshot. It's on. So when you when you see when you see the impunity going on, you see this time when they posted this thing was the exact time when we were having the program. Let me let me zoom it so you will understand. Look at it here. The exact time we were having this program, 3.27 a.m. 
3.27 a.m. 3.27 a.m. They changed the narrative. Now, this, let me also show you the yesterday old. Let me show you so that you understand, so that some of you will understand what is going on. Now, I want you to look, look at this. This was where, when they reported that, uh, when they reported that uh, uh, IPOB, IPOB, uh, men of IPOB, Eastern Security Network, killed two soldiers in Enugu. They reported it on the 14th of July, 2021, 11.28 a.m. 11.28 a.m. 11.28 a.m. Look at it here. 11.28 a.m. Now, they did not make this uh, rejoinder from 11.28 a.m. on the 14th of July till in the midnight. In the midnight of, in the early morning of 15th, when we were having the program and we told the pump and play, go and withdraw the report you, what you reported against Eastern Security Network, and they have come today to say unidentified gunmen. So we are giving them 24 hours. If you don't pull it down, no problem. But the consequences. If we do not see apology, no problem. But remember, there will be heavy consequences for this. Very heavy one. So we want you. I want you to mark and deserve this video today. Let it go viral. Share it to news media. Tell them that there will be consequences if you do not apologize for this impunity.